Welcome to What Am I Looking At, a podcast from the Department of Art and Design at Arkansas State University. My name is Dr. Leah Long, and I'm a professor specializing in ancient art. Throughout this series, each presenter will be giving insight into works of art that are in some way unusual, sometimes strange, sometimes hard to understand. I hope you enjoy today's exploration of the visual on your radio. Today we'll be exploring something that isn't quite art, but is more an archaeological artifact, and one that when it was first discovered didn't technically even exist and was literally a vacant hole of air buried in the ground. I'm referring to the plaster casts made from the human bodies that were the victims of the volcanic earthquake which occurred in Pompeii, Italy on August 24th in the year 79 AD. Of the many remarkable aspects of the archaeological site of Pompeii, perhaps the most moving are the numerous casts of men, women, children, animals, and even a small dog with a collar writhing on its back. Their contorted poses and anguished faces bring to life the terror of that day some 2,000 years ago. The Romans did not know that Mount Vesuvius was a volcano, so when the eruption happened there was great confusion for the ill-fated people living in the region. Mount Vesuvius spewed ash and pyroclastic surges that went as high as 20 miles and lasted for nearly 18 hours straight. It is believed that in a city with 20,000 people, as many as 2,000 perished. Many of the Pompeii casts preserve people in poses as if they are crawling along the ground or hiding their faces to escape the debris and poisonous gases from the eruption. The history of how these casts came to be is a story of the ingenuity and remarkable attentiveness of the early archaeologists working at Pompeii during the 19th century, when the field of archaeology was in its infancy, far from the scientific pursuit that it is today. In the mid-1800s, the Italian archaeologist Giuseppe Fiorelli noticed that as they excavated, they kept coming across holes in the ground. Eventually, they realized that the cavities were places where bodies once were, voids left by the decay of organic materials. The 30 feet of ash and pumice stone that rained down on Pompeii solidified over time, but the layers of ash and pumice compacted before the bodies decomposed, which is the reason why the exact shape of their final moments are so lifelike. Fiorelli developed a technique to bring them back to life by pouring plaster of Paris into the spaces. After the plaster hardened and the impressions of the ash were created, nearly every fold of their clothing and expression on their face was preserved. Recent studies have shown that the cause of death for the Pompeii victims was not ash suffocation, but heat exhaustion. Pompeii preserves an extraordinary record of ancient Roman daily life, and ongoing excavations, research, and conservation efforts continue to yield new information about this important city. What Am I Looking At is provided by KASU in collaboration with the Department of Art and Design at Arkansas State. Stay tuned next week for another look at art over your airwaves.